Okay, now let's look at problem number 11. In problem 11, I'd like to find the limit as x goes to 0 of tangent of 5x divided by x. All right, so limit as x goes to 0, tangent of 5x over x. Now, remember, what we know about is we know about the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x, and we know that that's 1. And we'd like to use that piece of information to help us evaluate this limit over here. Well, we don't have any signs involved right here. So what we should do is we should take this tangent of 5x and change it into what it equals, and that is it's sine of 5x divided by cosine of 5x. So let's rewrite it that way. So we get the limit as x goes to 0 of, on top, I have tangent of 5x. And I want to rewrite that tangent of 5x as sine of 5x divided by cosine of 5x. And that's all divided by x. Now, if it's divided by x, x is the same thing as x over 1. So I might as well write it that way. So I have a fraction divided by a fraction. So I can flip and multiply. And I get the following. This is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 5x divided by cosine of 5x times, if I flip and multiply this, this is 1 over x. Now, re remember back here, I know something about limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x. Cosine, I don't really need to know anything about cosine. Because if I plug in that x goes to 0, cosine of 0 is 1, and everything's fine. It's the sine and the x that have the problem, because when I plug in 0 here, sine of 0 is 0, and 0 is 0. So I don't really need to worry so much about the cosine of 5x piece. It's just going to turn out to be 1, and 1 is great. 0 is what I have to be concerned with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. And I'm going to group things together that are helpful to me. So what I'm going to do is let's rewrite. This is the limit as x goes to 0 of, on top I'll write sine of 5x. On the bottom, I'll write x. Because these are kind of the problem guys that give me 0. Uh, beside it, I still have that 1, and I still have that cosine of 5x, but the cosine of 5x isn't really a problem at all. When I take the limit as x goes to 0, that will just be 1, and everything's fine. So this is the guy that I need to deal with. This guy will deal with himself. So uh, when I plug in 0 here, this isn't quite in this form, but it's very much like problem number 7 that we just looked at. What I need to do is I need to multiply the top and the bottom of this guy by 5, so that the bottom is going to be the same thing as what's inside the sign. Okay, so let's multiply the top and bottom by 5. If I do, I get the following. This is the limit as x goes to 0 of 5 sine of 5x divided by 5x times 1 over cosine of 5x. Okay, the 5 can come outside of the limit, so let's rewrite it again. We can write this as 5 times the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 5x over 5x times 1 over cosine of 5x. Now, we have the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 5x over 5x. Well, that's exactly in this form. So this limit of sine of 5x over 5x, that limit is 1. And as x goes to 0, cosine of 0 is 1. So I get 1 times 1. So I get 5 times the limit as x goes to 0 of this guy, which is 1. And times the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over cosine of 5x, which is 1. So 5 times 1 times 1 is 5, and that's my limit.